One of the really neat things that's built into most of the units at this point in time is the ability to manipulate that map and the accuracy. I run Humminbird Onyx with Lake Master chips. So what I really do a lot of is uh, obviously use it for my navigational purposes, but one of the features that I use the absolute most and that really helped me at Gunnersville this year, I got on a pattern where I was just targeting uh, isolated offshore humps and I wanted to target a specific depth on that hump. So what, what you can do is you can go into your unit and you have your mapping system here that shows all the detail and it's just absolutely fantastic. But what I can do is while I'm up on my map and I, I wanna run new isolated areas, I'm able to go in and go to my chart options and my map data, highlight my depth and it'll give me depth highlight. That little number right there, like I said, at Gunnersville, I wanted them right at six feet, and it'll be plus or minus whatever I set it at. So two, three foot is usually where I leave it at. The map will automatically change. I can X out, and then I can see all those little highlighted points. As you can see here, this little point right here, the, the very tip of it, which is, would be a very interesting feature in the spring of the year, is highlighted green, and that's six to eight feet on the tip, just like this little isolated hump over here in the green. And what it does is it allows you to fish really efficiently. I can pull up, fish that piece of structure right there, the tips of it, the high point, as you can see, it steps up and it really makes me efficient. Make sure that you know the ins and outs of that mapping system data and the capabilities of it. It, it can really cut a lot of time out of your day and make you more effective.